Hey. Okay, back in Good Springs, where it all first began with uh, Doc Mitchell. Today, we're going to the saloon to start New Vegas Bounties. Oh, Apparently, there is something in these. here Feels to grab. Here. This thing, now hiring. No added, Randall and Associates. This is a recruitment um, advert, is it? Randall and Associates is accepting applications for the following positions, Bounty Hunter. Okay, well, I um, believe I'm qualified for that. I do have my little friend Bounty Hunter with me, Russell, as well, who should be good company. Job description, pursue high risk bounties on behalf of various clients, utilizing any and all means to apprehend and or terminate contracted targets. You should have experience with firearms, check. Explosives, check. Energy weapons, check. Must be organized and self-sufficient. Not check. That that would be one of the questions on if you have any weaknesses. Interpersonal ability is helpful, but not essential. I don't know what that means. Unarmed or melee skills is a plus. Yep, check. More flexibility required or preferred. Good, that's good, because my morality is a bit all over the place. The pay and benefits. Work at your own pace, on your own schedule. That sounds good. The initial contract is 125 caps. That sounds bad. Proven effectiveness will lead to more lucrative payments. I hope so. Potential rewards include a custom revolve on a duster. Oh wow, lucky me. Supplier C. Stephen Randall at the offices of Randall & Associates. Where is that? Randall & Associates is not responsible for injuries and or death incurred while pursuing said contracts. Randall & Associates is an equal opportunity to employer. <laughs> it is by... This place? Okay. By the divide entrance. Wow, this is a... Uh, very uh, attractive business, isn't it? For people to come and work in. Wow. I'm sure glad I'm going to come and apply for this job. Hey. Right, Russell. So, I have uh, put Russell back on hardcore so he can die now. Now we've completed his quest. So I don't really care about him anymore. If he dies, he dies. And um, we'll replace him somehow. I have actually also put a mod on to improve the weapon damage. To make it more realistic. So he might die quite easily. I might die quite easily. Just to like give it a bit more of a challenge. Because I'm fed up with um, bullet sponges. And I also went to Lucky38 to grab all my stuff. And put it in my bag of holding. I have sort of arranged it a little bit, but to be honest, I couldn't be bothered to go through it all straight away, so I might be juggling a bit as I go along with uh, what guns I have and what ammo and stuff. I did buy some more ammo as well at the gun runners. I did try and prepare hey. myself as much as I can. So let's begin. Stephen Randall. Don't mind me, just looking at what... Um, Appliances and food you offer for for us. Wanted dead or alive, 2,500 reward. What's the key to open this? Okay. Yo. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Been uh, quietly watching me go about your place, poking my nose in. Hello. Welcome to Randall and Associates. I should have sat down. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Stephen Randall, owner and operator. I assume you're here for the position, correct? That is correct, if nobody has came and taken the job. Hell yes, it's open. I can begin the interview if you're ready. I only have one question. Are you willing to kill people for money? Yes or no? Yes, but hopefully for more money than 140 caps, please. That's good, but I need to be up front with you. You'll be pursuing high-risk bounties. Many of the targets are extremely dangerous. But with the high stakes comes increased rewards. There's cash for every bounty, and increased payment as you complete more contracts. There's quick money in bounties, but you can rapidly make a name for yourself, and a lot of people will be looking for payback. So, what's your decision? Are you still ready to pursue the bounties? Is that meant to put me off? Of course I'm ready. I'm up for anything, Randall. Your first target is Tom Quigley, a former NCR Ranger who's rumored to be the best marksman in the Mojave. Apparently he contracted syphilis and steadily lost his fucking mind. Despite his abilities with a rifle, he was drummed out of the Rangers. He eventually turned to banditry and murder, taking great pleasure in sniping Brahmin caravans from afar. Quigley's crazy, but he's still damn lethal. 
He's usually camped out in the hills west of the old Poseidon gas station. Any questions? Yes, actually, seeing as this is my first day on the job and I have no idea about Randall and Associates, do you work for anybody? Are you the middleman or is there a man above you? That's for me to know and you to find out. Any other questions? I guess not. Let's go. Good. Bring back Quigley's trigger finger as proof and you'll get the bounty. Just don't get killed out there. I try not to. I, I don't know how difficult this realistic weapons damage is. Russell, why are you standing there? Hey. <laughs> You're okay, you can manage to get out. Okay. Tom Quigley, former NCR ranger, who has gone crazy with syphilis. Poor guy. He's at the Blue Cross Cave. I have no idea if that's actually a real place. Like, do they add people to places that are established, or are they new places? Because, like, I haven't been everywhere, so if there are places already established, I might be able to, like, loot them as well. Do you like pain? Oh my god, what? Did I just kill Russell? Sorry, maybe shouldn't have fired a grenade at you. <laughs> More? That was the damage. It's okay. I guess it's realistic weapon it's realistic weapon damage you got, so I guess dogs and stuff still do the same amount of damage. Which is fine. Who's shooting me? These fuckers. I think they are doing more damage than normal. Because these are like really low level guys, right? Just shoot me with pistols and that's taking a few bars off my health. I don't think it would normally have done that. You know, in the in the Russell thing, right? When um we were having a fight with that last guy, it's a safe here. Okay, safe. Hello? Safe. Let me in. Let me in, it came up a little yeah. It's when we had that fight with that rain, uh, Legion guy at the end of um, Russell. Like, bo big boss guy. Th that's what made me decide to get the realistic weapon damage, because I'm fed up with the bullet sponges. Like, I'd, I had to literally call an airstrike down on that guy to kill him. <laughs> I was just standing out in the open, he was shooting me and I was taking no damage. It was just stupid, wasn't it? So I'm, I'm hoping this mod will help with that. I didn't go, like, way over the top. Because I don't want it to be like a fucking Souls experience. I still want to have fun with it. Don't get stressed the fuck out. The fuck was that all about? I guess that was my perk, right? With um, reloading heavy weapons faster. Russell? Where is he? Well, yeah, I mean, this is the first bounty. It should be the easiest because it like gets harder with each one, apparently. He's just standing up there. Look at me, that's a piece of piss, wasn't it? <laughs> Tom Quigley. Why were you standing on top of a hill? Why were you not in the cave? Is there a cave here? There is a cave. Is there a cave? Blue Cross Cave? Need your fingers, mate. Thank you. The Ferguson rifle? What is that? I mean, I guess, like, even if it proves to still be quite easy, I guess, with the realistic damage. I'm not going to always get it to be harder still. Not bad little repeater. I'll sit down this time. Yo. Have you killed Quigley yet? Maybe I shouldn't have. Maybe I should have stopped. Can't see your face. Yep, he's dead. He was really easy. I'll take that finger. Here's your reward. There's plenty of bounties left. So come back when you're ready to put in more work. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Give me more work. Has this been updated? Who is this guy? You ready for the next bounty, kid? Yeah. Don't call me kid. I'm an old man. I'm a ghoul. I'm, I'm like, very old. Last week, a caravan was waylaid north of town. But it's still a mystery who was behind the attack. One of the guards survived with a leg injury, but by all accounts, he's a drunken ass. His name is Chesty and he spends his days at the bar in Boulder City. Find this guy and try to figure out what happened. Our client is offering 500 caps for the apprehension or termination of the attacker, provided we get definitive proof. Okay. Good luck. That's a bit more interesting, right? Rather than just um, go to point A and kill X person. Actually got to do a bit of investigating, I think. 
Speak to Chesty about the recent caravan attack. Where is he? He is by Boulder City. He did say that. That's a um, place with the NCR memorial, right? Of the Hoover Dam place, right? Where the great cars hit, right, from Benny. There's the war memorial. That guy has gone, right, about his brother. Oh, I've been in this place, yeah, the saloon. Hi, guys. Quite busy in here tonight. Hello, Chesty. What? Can you buy me a drink? Just one drink. This is a person with a terrible microphone. Did come across a couple of them in uh, the Russell mod, but most of them were very good, actually, I think, the voice actors. I need information about the caravan attack, please, Chesty. Well, there was a big fucking explosion, and I got covered in Brahmin guts. Mike was shot to shit, but he managed to get one of them. It wasn't raiders like I'm used to, just a couple of old guys in weird uniforms. It was at this intersection, uh, here. Anyway, there ain't much left there, but you can look. We cleaned up the bodies, but left that old dude to rot. A couple of old goos in w weird suits. A couple of old guys, I should say. Goons. <laughs> I mean, it might be old goons. Is it the Enclave? Hey. A couple of old guys in weird suits. People that helped me at the, at the um, Battle of Hoover Dam. You know, um, Arcade Ganon's old friends. What the fuck? Is this... When, we don't want to... What is going on over here? <laughs> Who is this? Um, ah! Why am I being shot? Why? Hmm. I don't know. Have I noticed much difference, really? The weapon damage? I don't know. Maybe? I think, I think so. I think I can take him. I'm shooting everyone now, I feel. Who the fuck? Yeah, I def I'm definitely taking more damage, right? Fiends? Oh, okay, these are fiends. Good job, Russell. Did you kill them? See what I mean? I've got a bit of a weird selection of guns <laughs> out at the moment. I just chose some random ones from my. Mary Poppins bag. Russell's nearly dead. This gun isn't that bad. Condition? Why is it? Why was it doing that? Careful, Russell. They're gonna die much quicker. I'm probably gonna go through quite a few um, companions. I feel maybe with this um, new weapon damage mod. That's good. It adds a bit more of a challenge, right? Gets rid of the frustration, because, I mean, how many times in um, my playthrough of New Vegas was I moaning about people being bullet sponges? This should hopefully fix that. Okay, it's a dead body. Did he die in the fight? That just happened. No, I don't, I don't feel so. This is um, something that already happened, right? Quantrill? Quantrill? This is his diary. I scanned the bloodstained pages of the diary. It is a crude account of countless raids, scavenging missions, skirmishes that spanned several decades. The last log mentions his superior officer, Onoda, and Quantrill's feelings for him. He mentions their intent to assault the Brotherhood of Steel safe house as a means to acquire weaponry. Hey, I've been there. I have the key to that place. Don't steal the shit in there. I think I might have already stolen most of it, actually. I think I've already took the most things from there. I don't know why they're getting there. They're going to be in for a surprise to find it's empty. Hey. Hello? Oh, he's there. Not actually inside. Oh. So, like, people like with like no armor like that are going to die really quickly to me, right? Which is fine. I don't care. <laughs> Where is it? Yeah, it was Enclave. 
Rules on clay, that's right. Officer uniform, what is this? Eh. Yo, Randall, I killed um, the people responsible for murdering the caravan. I don't know if I have the proof for that, though. Is the convoy attacker dead? I guess the book, right, would say it. his diary, I guess. Like, I just didn't read it, did I? I just sort of skimmed through it. Yes, he's dead. Good, here's your reward. Don't spend it all in one place. 500 caps. Come back when you're ready for the next job. Someone is always in need of killing. Okay. So that, that's jumped from like 100 and to 500, right? Sure. Next job, please, Stephen. You ready for another job? Yes, I am. My body is ready. Why do I have to collect fingers? Why can't I bring their head or something else? Why do you like fingers so much? Salad fingers. What are you, some kind of psychopath? Look. We collect fingers because it's a quick and efficient way to provide proof of death. I'm not building some crazy finger necklace or anything. I learned it from a man I encountered in my younger days. He found me after Marco had cut me to shreds since he was on that bastard's trail. His name was Marshall Cooper, and he was the bravest lawman and bounty hunter I ever encountered. I saw him kill three raiders single-handedly with a fucking fork. I wouldn't believe that shit if I hadn't watched him do it. I don't know much about him, except he came from Virginia or Maryland somewhere. He was some kind of high-ranking regulator. Anyway, he saved my life several times, and he taught me everything I know. We parted ways years ago. He had unfinished business back east. After that, I came out west, looking to join up with the first crew that would hire me. Anyway, that's enough of fucking story time with Uncle Steven. Are you ready to work or not? Sure. That's what I like to hear. Our client is offering 1,000 caps for this next target, and after hearing about her misdeeds, I understand why. The bounty is on a fiend named Eileen. She's a vicious twat with a reputation for castrating male victims Twat. consuming their not flesh. Not twat. Suffice to say, her activities are Makes that word sound so shit. to troop morale. The payout is big on this one, so bury that sick bitch and head back. Yep, come on, Eileen. Fucking, fucking Americans say twat right, not fucking twat. What a shit word. Twat is such a good insult. We, we call it twat? Like, that's so shit. Ruins the word. Fuck off. I'm gonna make you scream. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. So I mean I think uh, the recommended level for starting this new bounty is, is below level twenty. So like I'm I'm well over leveled. So as well as um, having this mod added on to make weapons better, right, more realistic damage. I'm killing people easily anyway. You know. But hopefully it will ramp up quite quick. Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. I've not played it before. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Hello, Eileen. You twat. Come here. Take your fingers. Hey, he was right, right? And, and who, who asked for heads? <laughs> Fucking NCR asking people to bring back heads. Fucking barbaric. Uh, what's the thanks? What's the thanks all about? Thanks. Violets, you were right about applying the fire. I used your method and it worked like a charm. I guess this is the fiend I killed, right? The NCR punk cried like a bitch from the start and I had to cut out the tongue to keep the noise down. Later I burned his feet until he couldn't feel it, then cuts off the cooked parts. Blah, 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 but just killing some person, right? And this is obviously why they had a bounty on them. Maybe. Maybe it's just one example of um, them killing somebody. Like, the the exposition lasted longer than the actual hey. bounty hunting part. <laughs> Did you kill Eileen? Yeah, are you not impressed how quickly I'm going through these guys, Stephen? Good. I think every member of the male species is sleeping a little easier with that bitch dead. Okay. Do you have more work for me, Stephen? You ready to work? Yes, Stephen, with a fee. Good. 
This next bastard has it coming. His name is Cullen, and he's the new leader of the Jackals. For years, the NCR has kicked the shit out of the Jackals. But since the Republic is occupied with Caesar, the Raiders are recuperating. Even the sorry-ass Jackals are getting back on their feet, thanks to the charismatic Mr. Cullen. He's been responsible for numerous attacks on the roads south of Vegas, and he's developed a reputation for brutality and cunning. In short, his attacks are bad for business, so certain people want him removed. He's hiding out at that old police station south of town. Good luck. Hey, Ray T. Would you be mad if I stole your gun? Probably. Alright, yeah, I remember this place. Nothing of note happens on your journey. What a relief. Okay, cool. Th thanks for letting me know. Yeah, this place was, um... Viper... Wait, Viper gang? Originally, right? I guess all their bodies are gone now. There's that guy who was back here I had to keep killing because I kept dying at that, like, ambush, right? Over there, somewhere. On the way to, um... What was he called? It was the Legion. The Legion, right? Killed everyone there. I can't remember what his name is. No, is it Nelson or Novak? Fuck you. That's not very nice. Ah, the jackals. Over here. Stain yeah. of the They're still here, the jackals. So this guy is like the new leader, right? I guess he took over from the old jackal people who were here. I just like, maybe I should hit people with a stick. It's a wasting ammo. Was that him? I keep forgetting I have like a uh, hundred melee now as well. Oh. Who the fuck are you? There's a bounty on your head. I'm here to collect it, Cullen. You're gonna be collecting your ass. Nobody fucks with the jackals. Oh yeah. Bonk. Oh, God. Bonk. Bonk. Come on, let's return to Salad Fingers. Collecting cool. another one of my bounties, eh? You're taking a bite out of my income, kid. I want my ends right now, or it's your ass. Fork it over right now. One thousand caps. What is your name? June? Juan? It can't be Dwayne. Sure. What, if it's Dwayne, why is it spelt like that? Dwayne? <laughs> Dwayne? The Coyote Collins. I, I know why you go by a nickname for a name like that. Um. Fuck you. Well, you've got some fight in you. If that's how you want it, fine. Like I already said, fuck you. No, fuck you. No, fuck you. Hey. Hey. Bonk. Bonk. Did I hit Russell? Russell head crippled. Are you okay? Somebody told me a nest of death claws lives on a ridge across the river. Probably just bullshit. Do they? Are they still there? I did wipe out the death claws from um, the quarry. Coyote? Duane? After your inquiry into the contracts of late, I investigated the matter in full. It's come to my attention that a new firm, Randall & Associates, has been utilising Bill Chunk, an up-and-coming contractor in the Mojave. Your unquestioning loyalty and determination to see the success of our organisation is appreciated, so consider the information a token of our continuing partnership. I trust you will deal with the matter shortly. Judge Richter. Okay, I heard that that's what um, it was mentioned before, right? Was it by Russell or by Glanton? So that's a rival hey. bounty hunter gang, I guess. Who are now missing one more bounty hunter. Is Colin dead? Yep. Outstanding job. Come back when you're ready for work. Stay classy, 